Okay. All right. Well, let's get this started. I know you guys, I think Team Sweat has a call later. So I want to be mindful of the time. Let's, I'm going to stick to like, let's try to get a lot done in 40, 45 minutes. Um, how I like these, like I like to, I've made a couple notes. I want to like toss up my thoughts. I want us to round table it. I want to hear everyone's opinion. Like this is a coach leader meeting for a reason. I think we're better when we put our heads together. Um, and I like to meet once a month because I know we're all so busy and it's nice to really get you guys together um, and see what's working. So I just had a couple things. If you guys are ready, I'll jump in and you feel free to unmute, share your thoughts. Like I want, I want to hear from everyone. Um, the first thing I had on the agenda is the tracker, talking to a couple people. And I think things are sort of shifting to people are really finding their groove with how to use it, which I love. And I know some people use the business activity tracker and that's fine. Like what I think is important is they're tracking their business. One piece of feedback I did get, which I really like, and if we're all on board, I can make that change easily, is not being so married to the number, possibly just sharing more of the activity. So for example, I talked to my new coach at Summit and she was like, I love the tracker, but 20 new follows on Instagram makes me not want to do anything because that just feels like a lot for me. She's like, I'd rather get three quality connections with people that I actually message than just trying to follow. Um, and similarly with Facebook, I know a lot of some of our coaches don't really grow their Facebook as much as their Instagram. So I was just curious your thoughts on if you still want to share this tracker for your teams, possibly making some shifts on just growing your social media network instead of the specific Facebook friend requests and specific follows. That was my first thing. So for, for me, what I started doing um, is just tallying when I follow someone. So like not necessarily. So that way for me personally, if I'm looking back or if like someone's looking at my tracker, they can see if I'm actually following or, or not, like instead of just like checking the box and like I some days get 20, some days I I get less, um, but I use like my follows and my connections kind of go hand in hand. Um, so for my people, I was gonna just tell them like uh, like right underneath it to like tally so that I can just see like how many they're getting. So if they're saying like, oh, I have no one to follow and they have one tally under there every day, then I can be like, well, maybe let's try and get it up to like three a day or you know what I'm saying? So like, you can still see the work you're doing um, if you go back and look at it. Um, but you can still check the box. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I talked to one of my newer coaches and she said the same thing. So I think getting away from hers would probably really help them not feel like they're falling behind. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. I like that. And, and like, I, I usually put my interest list on an, an entirely different page anyway. So I don't usually use um, this right here. Um, and even even the invites I tend to go over so or or under so um I didn't know if you wanted to do it that way or keep the I don't know has, has anyone said anything about what they use if they use the the names as well right there I haven't I always put the names there and I just like write really small and use up the whole underneath okay. section yeah. um and the back if I need it um but yeah yeah okay yeah, so why don't we do, um, let me know too if anyone else has any thoughts, but anywhere that there's a number, I, I personally I personally like having the lines for invited because I like to see like did, especially newer coaches, like you can check the box, but did you actually invite a human being? Like what is their name? Um, I use the interest list, but again, I haven't heard a lot of feedback. I can keep it, doesn't really matter. You can use any other list that works for you. But what if we just took out the numbers uh, on the tracker, like, sent new connection messages, followed up, like instead of maybe making people feel like, well, I'm, I'm failing if I don't get 10 connections. So let me just do nothing at all. Why don't we celebrate instead? Like, what are you doing for your business and sending new messages, following up with people. But then I would personally, I would like to keep the lines for the invited. That'd be my only feedback. I agree with that. And like, I know some people who back when I was working full-time, I had days where I had massive action and days when I just did what I could do. And so for me, if I was looking at the me from before, and I know we have a lot of working people, if I couldn't check a box because I didn't hit 20 IG followers, but I did 40 like the next day, so I, I could check out, I don't know, I just would rather not have the numbers and still have a way, like we can explain like for you, not necessarily for, for us, like tally, like, so I tally under connections, I tally under 
um, IG followers. I, I do all mine like tallying wise and then I write the names for invites. Um, but that way for me personally, if I have a slower month, I can go back and be like, well, look at your numbers and that's just me. And so that's what I'm also doing for my team cup team is like, I want everyone to tally their stuff. Awesome. All right, any other feedback? I just wanted to say, I, I prefer, oh, sorry. No, I, I was saying any other feedback? I was gonna say, I, I prefer that there be a number, whether they write a number, a numeral, or they tally, that they do keep track rather than just a box to check. Because I do agree, there's a lot of power behind, I don't have anybody, well, how many have you invited? Well, if they didn't tally or write a number or something, there's no way to, to say. So um, I don't have mine sitting in front of me. If there was a line or something, so that they did give a number. How many accounts did you follow? Five, I've got five tally marks. Or how many people did you connect with? I mean, I encourage my people to write their names down. I write my names down. Um, because I just know me, I will talk to the same people over and over unless I'm reminded who I already spoke to. Um, so I write names, but I think there needs to be a number of something. Maybe if we didn't dictate and we talk to our individual coaches one-on-one -on -one as they do start doing this, but I, I think there should be a place, some type of numerical representation needs to happen of how many did you do today? Yeah. So like mine, I just literally tally right underneath. Yeah, so I don't know if adding more stuff like they can just tally under and if the, in the box instead of checking it, maybe put the yeah, that you, could you, do yeah. that you yeah. did um, and instead of we'll have having that space to in there that helps as well. Mm -hmm. Just just the understanding that there is going to be some type of numerical representation to how many people we're just not going to tell you how many. Yeah, and you would one on one talk to your coaches as to what is a good amount for them at this part of their their coaching journey right. uh, and you could also treat it like i followed blank facebook you know, in, in ig accounts i friended blank facebook yeah. you know i followed up with blank people so that they are keeping track of a number but it would be like their own number and they would fill it in and then check it off so that's the way i kind of do it that way yeah if we already have the boxes and it could just be a wording change like instead of 10 friend requests it's number of new facebook friends number of new ig accounts follow and you still have the box they can just i mean if you want to tally that's fine or you just say five or six or whatever like that's we could keep it as a box you're just writing a number in as opposed to checking it do we like that yeah okay yeah okay I think, it, yeah, it's just more of like explaining the tracker. And if we have a video or something on it, or we just like, as a coach, when we're sending people a tracker, we're going to explain it to them. Like, it's just part of being their coach. Sounds good. Sorry. All right. Erica, any thoughts before we move on to our... Okay. Sorry, I'm late. Um, the one thing I was thinking about is like, people who are new coaches is that like the 10 new... Facebook friend requests. Sometimes, like, I don't know about you guys, but I have quite a few friends I haven't talked to on my Facebook. And so it can feel overwhelming to keep adding to the number. Um, and I love what you said, Ashley, about, you know, if, if, like it's the quality versus quantity as far as like who you're adding. So maybe it could be something in there about like, if you already have people you haven't talked to in your friends list, I know that's the connection part but of adding more, like do more of the connecting of friends you already have. I don't know how you would like verbalize that, but instead of like adding, it's not about the numbers, it's about the quality. That's yeah. the only thing I was thinking. That's what I personally do. Some days I don't add more people because I have over 3000 people and I don't need more people. I need to weed out the ones I have kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that too. Um, I think a lot of our coaches, our new coaches are joining with already a couple hundred friends and they say they, you know, like, oh, I'm same people are watching my stuff. It's like, well, let's dig into the people that are already on your account list. So maybe it is a wording shift of friend requests or engaged with current friends, like something along those lines. Um, and same thing with Instagram, new follows or re or engagement of current followers. Um, I agree. I think if we get in the hamster wheel of add, 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 it's also like, let's dig deeper, maybe instead of always casting such a wider net, we do need to grow our network, like for sure, you know, new coaches need to understand that. But I agree about wanting to go a little deeper with your already existing network. So we're talking about going through like the A to Z, like you can print off your entire friend list 
and you can start just going from like A to Z. And yeah. also like liking and commenting and liking and commenting. Like if you go from the top to the bottom, you're going to get more following. You're going to get more engagement because that's like the social part of social media. So sometimes um, it might not necessarily be if it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation as a leader with, with our people. Like if you already have a big following, maybe don't worry about adding people or maybe don't worry about adding 10, connect with 10, 10 people that are in there and make sure you're doing your due diligence of liking and commenting and really seeing if you connect with them. I always tell my people, I'm like, if you would have them over for dinner, stay friends with them. And if not, you know, yeah. Goodbye. What if we just, what if we just tweak the wording on connection? And release. See, I figure I count that as an action. I connect with people who are already there. I have new people I've never met, mm -hmm. but I will use my list of people I've not talked with in a very long time. I list them under connections. They are they are people I'm connecting with to get deeper with them. So I still expand and I just roll these other people who I connect with them. I, it's just, for me, it's just a, a, where do I put it? I'm connecting, here's what I'm adding. So I continue to expand. So I keep both. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's just an understanding of what each word, what you're doing on that behavior. And some days I do more connections than I do new friends and it's okay. I mean, you know, you said it consistently, it's messy consistency. And I take and use that word all the time. Guys, it's okay if you didn't do that box, but I expect to see more of this box then. So it Yeah, out. like some days I spend most of my day connecting and I don't have as many invites, but that's where my invites come a couple of days later. Exactly. So exactly. it's just kind of like a here, here and there. So like for me, there are many days I have way more than 10 connections because I'm reaching out to anyone watching my stories or any new people. Sorry. Um, and, but yeah, it's just kind of teaching our coaches how we do it or that it doesn't mean only 10 connections. Like it's okay to have more connections on Sundays as long as you are actually inviting. It's okay. <laughs> it's like, give me some air conditioning. Um, I like that. So that kind of moves me into the second piece was I'm thinking of doing, well, as of right now, I created a new coach checklist after summit when we got like, I don't know if you guys were in that with Emily Favre. Um, so I was thinking a lot about it and I was like, you know, I really need duplicity in my downline. And to me, that means I can sign up a coach any day of the month and they can get started immediately without feeling like they missed the start date for our, our 10 day coach training. So just hear me out. This is what I'm I'm choosing to do going forward, but we'll still be happy to help out. As of this point, I'm not going to be adding anyone new to the new coach foundations. I'm going to instead try going forward, sending a welcome email and sending this 10 step new coach checklist. Because what I did was I filmed a get, and that kind of brings me to this point. I filmed a getting started, like a general getting started right Zoom call. That's step two of my checklist, which also explains the tracker at the very end. Now I was very briefly explained the tracker. I wasn't going through word for word, but I'm like, here's generally what the tracker means. So my thoughts are like, I'm, I'm not gonna go film a brand new video, but if someone goes through my checklist and then they complete the 10 steps and they're ready for a Zoom call with me, we're gonna dig into the checklist even more and I'm gonna walk them through it. And that could really be like a one-on-one -on -one thing. Um, so that being said, I am first off, I'm happy to share my checklist. I did put it in team glow under the guides, but I will keep scheduling my Mondays. If y'all want to continue to have new coach foundations, I'm happy to keep scheduling, but I'm, I'm going to, I wanted more things that were evergreen. So not having to do every other Sunday night, a getting started call, but instead just embed that right into the checklist. And that way, when I'm thinking of like our team's pushing for a new rank advancement, you know, we need people to feel confident if they sign a coach day one, they've got their checklist, they can go. Um, and I know it's self-paced, but I also think I wanted something that was just a little bit more, if you're ready to get started, here you go, and supporting them through that checklist. Um, that's my thought. That's, that's what I'm going to go for in August and really just see with the new coaches I bring on, are they getting started? Because the 10 steps also have, do your coming out post, invite your friends and family, understand the benefit of signing up a spouse. Like by the end of the 10 steps, they should be Emerald and Success Club. They're on their way. Um, instead of it taking 10 days, if someone's driven, they can do it in one day. So I just wanted to open that up and hear, again, nothing has to change. I'm still happy to schedule my Mondays, but I wanted to hear what y'all thought about that. Erica, let's do it. 
And no, if you guys want to keep the Facebook group too, that's why we're discussing, like, that's totally fine. I just wanted to hear any feedback that you all have. Yeah, that was so funny. Cause I, I mean, this kind of goes with, um, Sarah Beth, <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> you say it, cause I was going to say it if you didn't. Oh, okay. So I was actually, it's funny you say that because I was like, all right, we'll do one more month of coach foundation. Cause this is the last week of the month. And then what we're going to do is a 10 step checklist. <laughs> and so great minds. Um, but I feel like at least in my page, um, or in it, it's team sweat, but I'm actually renaming it because we represent so many amazing people and it's going to be called one community. Um, and, and so I'm really going to reach out to members who are leaders in it and have a featured daily check-in that is like a coach training, but it's just giving them a little bit more added value, but they can still follow along with that 10 step checklist. So I love that plan. So I'll probably kind of piggyback off what I learned from you and what I, I already have the 10 step checklist from before, but I was going to probably update it with some ideas that other coaches want to bring to the table. So yeah, no, I love it. I think it's great. So hi, Samantha. I, I, I did look at your, um, 10 step checklist because, um, a few of us were not able to attend that training because yeah. we were at the urgent care. <laughs> so I had seen the client one, um, and I hadn't seen the coach one yet. So I saw the coach one and I thought, well, that goes very much with what we were talking about doing for our clients, mm -hmm. you know, kind of empowering them, supporting them, but empowering them to go. Um, so I saw that and, and I did notice um, that there were a lot of the trainings that already exist elsewhere that here we're just empowering them with click here and then you're doing these kinds of things. So I like that. And I like being able to start whenever rather than, okay, you got to wait because we're going to start next Monday or, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah, I like the plan. Yeah. And you have it as a, oh yeah, I just saw it. It's a PDF that you have. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. No, I love I it. I like switching it up. I think doing something too long, it gets, I, as a leader, that's, I get monotonous and I start to just do the motions and that's boring to me. And then I start to like check out mentally. So if we can like switching it up and like, do I like the 10 step plan too? I, I can't wait to hear about it. I'm feeling some FOMO because I didn't get to go to summit. <laughs> so um, <laughs> like, can't wait to hear from you guys, Sarah, about that. Um, or like whoever, I just want to hear what that. It's a great idea because it's something where if they get started late, you know, I, I don't remember who it was, but there was a personal development that said, I think it was GoPro. He said, you have like a short window for people to, they start to fire starts to go down as they're excited. Mm -hmm. I think that having like a plan and action to like, bang, boom, let's go is a good idea. Yeah, that definitely helps to, I mean, if we're excited, then our people are going to be excited. If we're not excited, our people aren't going to be excited. So I think, I think this change is good. I'm excited for it. I think it. I've also had people in the coach foundations for like months. And so, and like, they just are never graduating. Like I have one girl, I don't remember when she started coaching, but I think she's been in there three months. She just finally hit Emerald and is like getting her groove. Um, but I feel like this checklist will really like state, are they really ready to like coach or are they just blowing steam up your ass basically um but like I just felt like people are getting in coach foundations and like getting stuck like they I've had people like oh no I'm gonna start again no oh no I'm gonna start again but they last a couple days and then never show so like having this is like up to them and you'll see right away if they're ready or not yeah yeah Eric, uh, um my it's printable but it's a pdf with clickable links so um I mean they could print it but they need to have it access what I'll do guys is just so y'all can see what I created, I'll send you in the coach leaders pod, I'll send you my new client checklist and my new coach checklist. Cause I saw Samantha's and I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then I tweaked it a little bit for mine. Um, I did try to keep mine very generic. So my downline can use it, but if you do want to use it, just make a copy. Cause some of that is like my team page that you'll want to change to your team page. Um, Okay, I'm just reading what Samantha said. I gave new coach checklist to a new coach and she's on step two and I gave her a deadline. Oh, I like that. She's like, you got to finish in 15 days. Um, and I talked to Tessa a little bit about like still wanting to have these coaches feel like they're like plug them into a community. So our thought was when someone does finish their 10 steps, they've shown you that they're taking action. 
let's just go ahead and add them because if y'all are okay with it going forward, I'd love to still do a monthly group message with like our downline. Um, add them to that group message when they've completed the checklist because now they're taking action. Let's let's push them right into our community and have them be a part of that. But I think they need to earn that part in completing the 10 steps. So that was just the thought I had. The other thing I'm hearing from people is they're getting social media out. So I don't know if in the future, if we do like a coach foundations, if you could do it like in a bod group, we've done them like, like forever ago. I think when bod first came out, I like the idea of the checklist part. If it's a printable thing, because, um, or if there's a printable version, I, as a mom, like am bought the checklist. I make a checklist checklist. It is getting done by the end of the night, <laughs> I'm not going to bed. So, I mean, for the most part, not unless like the crap hits the fan, that's a whole different story. But if we had like something printable and then the deadline thing, I think it might, you know, it's achievable goals. It's smart, achievable goals, whatever that acronym is. I think it might help people to not get distracted because we get on social media and all of a sudden there's like, ding, 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 ding. like we have all of these things going everywhere. And so where it, if there's something away from social media and then also like, cause I'm assuming this is going in an email to them, correct? Uh, it can be either. Yeah, you could, I was gonna, I emailed and then I sent them a messenger, the checklist, but you could do, I mean, you can do whatever you want. So I, I like that. I feel like but it it's help. not printable. The link, you, you have to open it as the PDF in order to have the clickable links. So if okay. I printed it, a piece of paper, it would say, click here. Well, they can no longer click here if they print it on a piece of paper. So it is still within the virtual okay. world. But they could have um, a physical. So that that's how it makes it click. Like I'm just thinking like. But you could do it outside of a social media platform. Yes. Like I said, a, a message thread, um, an email. Yeah, yeah, as long as it's still in the virtual world. Just trying to think of so like they, how I was talking to Sarah B about this before the, um, earlier. And it's like people are getting disconnected from stuff. So like as leaders, if we can help them just get reconnected in some ways um, without getting burnt out from social media, like that's something that I hear a lot from people. So um, just like hearing like what other people are saying and what they're saying no to before they even know what it is so something outside of it like the, away from i'm also like miracle morning is in my head <laughs> so well samantha just said that her girl printed it out mm -hmm. but because she wanted to check mark them but she's also clicking the links from the pdf so she's using it in both forums so that works as well I think okay. people are getting social media out because they're not ever unwinding. Like they talked in one of the, the things, grind and unwind. Take your work times and then when you're not working, put your damn phone away. And it's something that I have struggled with and that I'm working with my coaches on um, is like working in specific times, but not all day. And as a stay-at-home mom, I get social media out because I find myself pulling my phone up, but I've recently been plugging it in in the bathroom away. So it's just something we really need to talk to our coaches, especially new people is if you haven't done the 24 hour clock with them, like it's my favorite thing to do with new coaches and figuring out when they can fit time in and like only fitting it in that time. And if they're doing it elsewhere, all notifications off, if they're doing it elsewhere, then that's kind of on them if they're social media out um, personally. Yeah. And the thing with this checklist too, guys, is you're the leader. You can do whatever you want. I'm just saying like, for me, this is a checklist I've created. This is my plan. This is what I'm going to do with all new coaches and new clients who are onboarding from here on out. Feel free to make a copy, feel free to do it however you want to do it. But it sounds like we're kind of all on the same page with finishing out this final week of our 10 day new coach foundations and discontinuing that Facebook group for the time being. Are we all on board with that? I feel like we are, but I just want to be sure. Okay. Okay, cool. And um, awesome. And similarly, and if you're watching the recording, you're like, no, I love it. Well then tell us. Um, similarly with the SC rock stars, um, again, I think it's run its course. I don't think that's beneficial to people anymore, but my thought was take that stuff and post it in your team page, right? Cause we talk about the national wake up call. You're probably already posted about that. We talk about the slay squad call. We talk about, um, Thursday is sharing your diamond roadmap, but I'm sharing our path to eight star every Thursday. So 
if y'all are on board with that, I say, I don't think SC Rockstars is really effective anymore. However, the content is great to use for your team page. Um, and that's something that you can incorporate. So if there's any thoughts on that or any feedback, I'm assuming you guys are probably okay with not bringing back SC Rockstars. Yeah. I love yeah, that. I was okay. definitely going to say, please don't do it for August when we've got Team Cup. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like the the SE Rockstar people should be on a team cup. So maybe just blast that in there and like you guys were a part of this group at one point. So join a team. <laughs> I know. I know. I think that's a big one. Um, I do like the idea of having like a group chat with with everyone, though, just for a place for people to reach out, like even mm -hmm. new coaches, just because or having just one chat and not like splitting them up between like new coaches versus like whatever other coaches um because we have all of us coaches in there that can answer questions mm -hmm. if someone sees it someone else doesn't we're all working at different times during the day um but just having that sense of community because I know that my people love the sense of community and then having one place because I don't person I don't put my people in like Ashley's team page anymore I have my own but just having one place like to post when we have our Saturday team call or whatever in um, and then just having that community there where they have a place they can go and ask questions. Cause I always tell my people, where do you go first? The group chat, mm -hmm. the group chat doesn't answer it. Then come to me and message me, but that's why we have that there for everyone to have a chance to step in. Yeah. I also wanted to say too, um, with knowing the calendar ahead of time, like, I think that's a big one too, just so it can, I can coincide as much as possible with team glow um and also with the calls yeah because i do a monday night but i have a couple uk coaches that are like i can never get on those and i was like okay days so i'm thinking about alternating back um to doing a facebook event because i still create facebook events for a pop-up challenge and then all the coaches are admin of it and then i still do one for online coaching sneak peek so there's always two weeks that are like an every other week that i create those events on saturdays um so the those calls i would be on you know my link um so i was just wondering do you have a schedule for um august ashley like do you kind of know what you when your pop-up challenge is when your sneak peek is and all of that like that's something that i don't know if i should private message you about but since we're all leaders and kind of participating i was like this might be a good question to ask here too so yeah, yeah. I hope that's good. yeah no for sure and that was actually my topic um saturday was like a marketing call so that would be like looking ahead what's the week of the free free challenge or free group which i had as august 15th um okay for, for our team and then you know like so my august god group is starting august 8th free challenge august 15th and then along with the business opportunity webinars from keith every wednesday which is awesome um that's how i'm leveraging like inviting to the business pretty much on an ongoing basis, but I think that's okay. it. I think it's really just August bod group starts on the eighth for me, for my team. Um, and then free challenge the week of the 15th, unless I'm missing any launch or anything like that. Okay. Nope. I don't think so. Not for, not for August. So no, that's what I had written down. And I just want to double check with you because yeah. I was driving from Kansas to Indiana during that time. <laughs> I was like, Oh, I'm not going to make it. So thank you for, for reading. Um, stating that. So yeah, I think that's good though. I feel pretty good about going forward with like what we have to offer and just, yeah, simplifying it. That was the word that I used because that's Sarah Beth's word for the year and I am stealing it. It's also her Zoom word. <laughs> I just saw that. So yeah, I think, yeah. But thank you for the PDF. I do have a question. How do you edit it? Is there a way, so are you going to send us the PDF, editable PDF? Is that what it is? If you sent the, you sent the Canva template, Yes, I'll send the link. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll send the link. And then what I'll do is I can actually make, I'll just make a copy and I'll send you the copy link. And to be on the safe side, you can make a copy of that, but um, I'll send you a copy. So if you make edits right there, it's just if someone else has that link, they might make edits as well. So I would accept the link and then make a copy for your own. Um, but yeah, yeah. you're able to edit any links or any clickable links or anything like that. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I was going to say, I think. Um, Samantha was going to send it. So just kind of searching and seeing which ones I like. And I mean, I'm sure they're all great. So thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. Yeah, totally. That's what I did with Samantha. I saw Samantha's. I had one created and I saw Samantha's. I'm like, oh, hers is way better. And then I like, it's so good to see what other people come up with. Cause I'm like, oh, that's great. I forgot about that. So I would say, yeah, mm -hmm. look overall, if we can all share what we have, we can, you know, we're better to share ideas. And that way you can tweak to what you want. 
Yeah, I had uh, someone in the my like one of my corporate groups sent theirs, and so I used theirs because I liked the way theirs was and kind of like put theirs, my ideas, and Ashley's all together in one. So it's pretty similar, but yay, um, Thanks, ladies! Yeah, awesome. And Samantha, yeah, can you also send that in the group message just for anyone who wasn't here tonight? And I'll do the same. Thank you. All right, cool, cool. So we've got, we've covered new coach training going forward. Um, we'll just kind of fizzle out the Facebook groups that we had. Um, I was thinking in terms of, we all talked about still continuing a big group message. I would say for August, because monthly I always like to check in like who's still here, who's still working their business. I don't want someone in the group message who's like totally not working their business anymore. What if um, we do a big team cup group message? If you're on a team cup, this is our group message for the month of August. And that will show that these are the people that are working their business. Um, that was just my thought. So obviously the, the July diamond push, the group message will close out and the Facebook group will close out at the end of July. But then, hey, it's team cup month for August. Here's our team cup downline group message. So. Yeah, I like that idea. I feel like if, if I want to limit the amount of threads we have. <laughs> so, so if we just have like one coaching one. Is that what you mean? Just yeah. a team cup coaching one. Okay. Yep. What do yeah. you see I going like on in that thread though? Just what the diamond group is like now. Mm -hmm. Like, like asking questions, yeah. braiding wins. Reminders of our yeah. team call. Um, Hey guys, here's my template. You know, exactly. I would say exactly what the diamond thread is like. Mm -hmm. Or even the new coach bootcamp. Sometimes people just ask common questions yeah. that a lot of people are asking. I do find that that's so helpful because there's, we just get so used to the same people. And then if they already know what they know, somebody new coming in is too scared to ask. But if there's 10 new people that are like, I have that same question. I feel like there is a, there's a positive to that. So yeah, just yeah. mute, just tell them early on, mute the notifications, people <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Especially you back to grind, grind and unwind. Don't have notifications yeah. on, have it on if you're in the app and then don't have it on when you're not in the app. Like that's a good mm -hmm. lesson for them to learn. Yeah. Should we call it grind and unwind team cup group? <laughs> yeah. Love it. <laughs> just, just remind them like that's the whole team. <laughs> love it. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Um, I know we've got about 10 minutes left. And the only other thing that I had was, um, yeah, I'm using Keith sneak. I'm not doing a team glow sneak peek for the time being with Keith offering a webinar every Wednesday. So I'm just leveraging that. Am I breaking up or am I okay? Okay. Um, diamond retreat. I know Sarah and Sarah Beth and Samantha are hosting theirs. Mine's going to be the same weekend, November 5th. And that is going for me, for my coaches, I've set the deadline of must be diamond by September 8th. So this is really their push to go diamond. And I think if we're all offering something at the same time, like that becomes a collective push because some people really are driven by trips and qualifying for trips. So that's really something I'm going to keep bringing up and helping people know, like you're going to help us, but you're also going to help yourself. And this is part of the path for your goals. Um, and then the last thing is I'm going to start offering and see how it goes, but a monthly wellness workshop. I know Sarah, Sarah Beth, you guys do something similar, but Saturday, August 5th, I'm going to open it up to all of my clients, all of my prospects. Um, it'll replace our team call on August 5th and it'll be an hour. And I have it kind of in my head of like, it'll be five minutes with a coach. Amanda's going to do like a superfood shakeology bowl um, someone's going to share like their journey, kind of their journey to like self-love and acceptance. I think a lot of people really can get inspired by hearing someone's story. Um, I'm going to share my favorite self-care tips and tools. And then August, did I say fifth, whatever that Saturday is? Yes. Six. Sorry. I had that wrong in my notes. Um, I will end with a 10 minute guided meditation. I'm working with my energy coach and I'm, I will have a specific template to follow. Um, and we'll also have a little journaling, like a five or six minute journal prompt within there as well. So this is just something I want to offer number one to better serve my clients, but also to have something to invite to for anyone, you know, anyone I'm talking to, I can be like, Hey, I'm hosting this wellness workshop. And then my thought was at the very end of the call, I'll do a very quick plug of, by the way, if you want to work deeper on your health journey and you're not in our client groups, reach out to who invited you to this zoom. So there will be a little plug for that. Um, but that was my thought to just do one Saturday a month of like, 
all things self-care and you can invite literally anyone. So I just wanted to hear if anyone had any thoughts or feedback on that. I love that. I think that's a great idea. Is that going to be the name of it? Because I'll probably like make it and all things self-care or I love it. Yeah. I had wellness workshop, but it's whatever. Oh, no. Call it. no, that's fine. But it's going to be about self-care and just like, I think that's what our world needs. That's what women need. That's what, you know, literally everyone in my network, I want, I would invite to this zoom because it's, you get to hear a story. You get to take a minute out of your day and focus on yourself. And I really want to bridge the gap between, I'm not trying to get you just to follow a workout program. I'm trying to get you to like prioritize your, your self-care, your wellness, um, and then workouts become just a part of that. So something for my bod group too, because I want to really amp up the level of support I'm giving my paying clients. And, you know, I think that could be really great. Are, are you thinking of doing this the first Saturday of every month? Probably. I'd love to gonna- yeah. yeah. I'd love to get feedback after this first one, because my thoughts are that's kind of an extra incentive. My bod groups start at the beginning of the month. So this can be something that it's almost like our kickoff, you know, with my bod group starting August 8th, this is like, Hey, let's kick this off with a wellness workshop, um, just for more resources for them. And collaborative effort. Like I, you know, I talked to Amanda about doing a nutrition thing, Um, I think Tess, I can't remember if I asked you like sharing your story of like really learning to love yourself, appreciate yourself. I think that's hugely powerful, but I see this as going forward. If we like it to just as the group leaders, we're collaborating on this call, like next month, someone else will share five minutes in the kitchen. Someone else will share their journey to their self acceptance, whatever it may be. Um, I see that as this being our type of thing to collaborate on. Cool. Uh, yeah, it would be the same time as the Zoom. Yeah. I know that's hard for my, our Pacific coasters, but for, for August 6th, at least, it'll just replace the time of our normal call. Go ahead, Erica. I saw you unmuted. So I just wanted to ask, um, are you going to have like a template or something so I can share that in my free group that I have going on so people can like know it's available? Yes. I will be creating the agenda. I have a meeting with my energy coach on Wednesday and she's, she leads these. So she's going to help walk me through setting up an agenda. And then I will send that in the leader pod so that you guys know exactly what's happening and how to talk about it. Thank you. I just have a question about the diamond, the diamond retreat. So I tend to not, when I start talking to people about diamond, they tend to get very, um, it gets weird. I'm just saying it gets weird. Like, so how do you guys talk to people about the diamond retreat and stuff? Like, what do you share with them? What do you, what are your tips on how I I can engage with my team with that? What do you mean it gets weird? Oh, oh, they just don't like, they run the other way. They don't believe they can do it. It doesn't seem achievable. Tessa, I'm not kidding. Like, this is a real thing. It's a problem. problem. I I think asking, (laughs) like, what, I think you need to, um, maybe ask- with the leaf. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, I know, right? I, I think asking, asking them more questions, like what they're driven by, because maybe they're not associating like that type of freedom with something that they deserve. And maybe you need to break through to that, you know? Tell me so, what so I would just ask like, so, so where, where do you want to see yourself in a year, you know? And like, what would that look like? What would that feel like? You know, and kind of like ask them a little bit more of Wait, what, maybe ask what, what motivates happens. them because everyone's different yeah. is motivated differently. Like some people just don't really care for retreats and aren't here for the community. Some people just are here for the money. So if you show them different ways to make more, some people are here for like prizes. I'll do anything for a free shirt. Like, you know, people are motivated by so many different things and maybe it's just time with you. Maybe like, so a while back I asked my coaches to kind of like each one and tell me like what they're motivated by. So I know. I ask that like, and they don't respond. <laughs> it's like talking to the wall. Then <laughs> they're not working coaches. <laughs> it's I'm like, what you said, you wait. Hello. Hi, where are you? <laughs> I mean, but okay. So keep the growing. people huh? keep growing. Cause you're going to find somebody who is motivated by that. And they're going to achieve that. And I other coaches, that. Will, other coaches will see that and be like, oh man, I, I should have done that. Or I, I should have tried maybe 
and maybe they come back around. Trying, helping people, trying that's again. the big thing I get. So if I painted the picture of, well, if you go diamond, you're actually helping 10 people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I think you focus on that. Yeah. If the, if the title scares them, let's just get, break it back down to, Hey, I want to help you help two people this week. Like what do you want to, do you want to set that as a goal this week? You know, or, you know, asking them what that looks like, you know, it's the same thing with money. Like Tessa mentioned, like, Hey, you know, is, is paying off your car bill, something that you really want to work towards, you know, and then breaking it down from there, like having that monetary value and, you know, yes, it's cool. Some of the things that are the things that will happen, but those are just byproducts of how you're helping people, you know? So I don't know. I think, yeah, grow your team. Like I should say, there's going to be, there's going to be some runners. There's going to be some walkers. There's going to be some people who go backwards. <laughs> so you just got to find the moving forward people. Grow and for me, team. like I connected mm -hmm. my, my goal is like our, it's our path to eight star. Like, I'm like, guys, we haven't ranked advanced since 2020. We deserve a rank advancement. This team is growing and it coincides with our diamond retreat. If someone's not motivated by a retreat, that's fine. But like our goal is to rank advance where there's hope, there's vision, people get inspired, right? So I'm like, we have a goal, we have a deadline. I would connect your diamond retreat to what's your next rank advancement? Who's gonna help you help this team rank advance? Who's also gonna be building their own business? Like it's a win-win. And then every, every Thursday I have the 13 coaches that told me they want in for this rank advancement. Your name is on a board with your exact team. Who's active, who's inactive, what spot is open. Here's how you're going to get to diamond. You told me you wanted this, right? Whether they go on the retreat or not, it's kind of beside the point. The point is like, we are galvanizing together to reach a goal. And if no one wants to be on it in 2019, I asked my team and one girl was like, sure. And I ran with her, right? right? So I would say, if you look around and no one wants to work, that's good information. Run with yourself and go attract other people that want to want to run with you. I got my shoes on. We're going fast. Going. I just did 15 miles with my husband on a hike. We did our first mountain peak. Awesome. But run Thank with you. You. you get it. If you're inspired, Erica, you're going to inspire others. And if it's not going to be exactly how your team looks now, that's going to get you guys to the next level. Some people are going to be in, some people aren't, but it could be the person you sign tomorrow. That's like, I don't know where she's going, but I want on board that train. What do I do? Right. I think like, I have to focus on what I have versus what I want, because what I want is a team that's like, yeah, I want this. Let's go. But what I have right now is a team. Yes but I have people that it's obviously not worth it because you're not showing up for it, <laughs> you know? Like, so I think that that like just clicked. A lot of clear. Thank you. <laughs> Love it. I mean, it's 80% of my team too. I've got awesome people that just don't really want to work their business and that's okay. But I'm like, I'm not, I'm not dimming my goals because you don't want to run with me. That's fine. Here are the people that do want to run with me. And if it's just me, I'm going to be my best freaking coach ever. And I'm going to run by myself and I'm until I'm not alone anymore. Cause you'll be alone for a very short time. If you have that kind of drive. Um, okay. I know we're getting close to our, our four over our 45, but you guys, that's pretty much all I had. Um, I'll make tweaks to the tracker. Our Facebook groups are going to discontinue after this month. Diamond retreat is also for me coinciding with a new rank push for our team. Our wellness workshop is August 6th. And if any of add your coaches that are on a team cup, they get access to our group message in August. Um, must be on a team cup, unless you add newer coaches as they join in August, that's fine. And we're basically going from the Facebook group to the checklist. We can all make tweaks to our checklist, however we want, but that'll really help us have an ongoing way of helping coaches immediately. Is there anything else I missed or anything anyone wanted to bring up? I'm excited to not have to uh, schedule as many posts anymore. Same. <laughs> Simple. It gives me, I mean, I usually do it before the, at the beginning of the month, all of them, but it's, I'm excited. So do you feel free? We're free. Yeah. <laughs> I also handed off my bod group to some of my coaches, so I'm feeling really free. <laughs> oh, nice. Free. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right, ladies, anything else? Samantha, thanks for being here. I know Sarah Beth had to jump off, but I will um, post the recording. Let me end the recording here. Bye.